I am very pleased to be here this evening to present the exhibition Unlocking the History of Penn International, a digital exhibition of Penn's archive. C'est un véritable plaisir d'être avec vous ce soir pour l'inauguration de l'exposition Révéler l'histoire de Penn International, une exposition numérique des archives de Penn. Penn International wants to celebrate the centenary showcasing the work on promotion of literature and freedom of expression of the last 100 years with everyone, from Penn members to writers, journalists, academics, researchers, and the general public. Penn International also wants to raise awareness about the need of preserving historical documents for future generations and to encourage the membership to use their historical documents for their activities. Over the past three years, we have been developing and curating a collection of documents from Penn International and 90 Penn centers all over the world. The first stage of this project was a survey on the center's historical documents. The results showed that most centers have their archives on paper, mostly not accessible and in many cases not well preserved. Based on this survey, we started collecting digitized and digital archives, such as letters, photographs, posters, reports, and many more. Unlocking the history of Penn International showcases for the very first time artifacts that reflect the values Penn has been embodying for the last 100 years, with over 2,000 documents and over 100 texts on our history. In order to make this exhibition accessible and engaging for people of all ages, backgrounds and languages, the description of every single item and all introductions will be available in the three official languages of Penn, English, French and Spanish. The exhibition reflects the diversity of Penn by presenting the cultural heritage of the organization not only from the past, but also from more recent years. From the very first Penn Center, English Penn, to the newly created Penn Centers, such as Moscow Penn. Another valuable part of this exhibition is the oral history collection, made up of interviews with new and old Penn members reflecting on their experience of Penn. Now, let's have a look at the digital exhibition. The website is divided into three sections. The first and main part is called Explore the Exhibition, and it is where you will be given the opportunity to really unlock the history of Penn International and all Penn centers participating in this project. Each section of Penn International, such as committees, congress, and protection work, and every single Penn center have their pages where their histories and archives are displayed, stressing the visual component. What makes this exhibition unique is the fact that every centre has submitted their own history and some interesting stories alongside their archives. A valuable resource for the users who are looking for specific documents is a search tool. This will allow you to make a general or an advanced search in the collection. And finally, all the information regarding the exhibition can be found in the About the Exhibition section that presents the concept and the content of the exhibition itself. When Moscow joined Penn International in 2018, but we have long history behind us. More than three centuries of struggle of Russian intellectuals, writers, journalists for freedom including 70 years of Soviet regime. For Soviet writers, Penn movement was a dream, but it was absolutely impossible. Only in 1989, after failure of Berlin Wall, Russian Penn appeared and immediately became well known in Russia and abroad as real fighter for freedom of expression. We are 85 people led by our president, writer and journalist Alexander Arkhangelsky, and we stand for justice, 
human rights, press freedom and freedom of expression. Bueno, para México, para cualquier país del mundo, este, el tener un archivo, el tener un pasado, el tener un, un testimonio de un pasado, por más doloroso que sea, pues es esencial. Kurdish pen office was raided, documents and archive destroyed and taken. Following this attack, many members and executives of Kurdish PEN and other Kurdish linguistic and literary organizations members were detained, charged with unlawful acts, dismissed from their jobs, their passport cancelled, imprisoned, and so on. PEN International has campaigned many times and organized activities and rapid action networks for the imprisoned Kurdish writers and those in danger, mainly in Turkey and Iran. The Centre Malien de Pen International is born in 2011 in a context where the country was invaded by the forces dites dubbed independentist, terrorist, jihadist, who have appeared with the collapse of Libya. We have understood our role in this moment. Personally, Je suis issu d'un processus associatif assez, assez long. Donc, l'associatif s'est invité tout de suite dans le débat en 2011. C'est ainsi que nous avons fédéré une quarantaine d'écrivains pour constituer le Centre malien de paix. À la suite de ce regroupement, nous avons publié immédiatement un manifeste dit des écrivains et activistes culturels pour montrer notre Determination à lutter avec les armes qui sont les nôtres contre les, les forces obscurantistes. Um, the question is, uh, what is uh, a writer in prison? What kind of cases does the Writers in Prison Committee of Penn International take up? Well, obviously they have to be writers. They have to be people working in the written word. They may be poets, they may be screenwriters, they may be journalists and otherwise. Um, they, the cases that we take up are those of writers who have been attacked for the practice of their professions. There are people who've been imprisoned, there are people who've been threatened, and sadly even people who've been killed simply for the practice of their right to freedom of expression. And in, nine, in 2001, he and a number of other Chinese uh, dissidents and writers formed the Independent Chinese Pen Center, which is a very interesting example of a center that is both <clears throat> an activist center and a center that is made up of writers who themselves have been uh, imprisoned or who are dissidents. Um, which is, and throughout the whole campaign that we uh, and undertook on behalf of Liu Xiaobo, uh, the, the Independent Pen Center was key to our knowledge, to translation to very specific details about not only Liu Xiaobo, but other cases of pen of, uh, of Chinese writers who were who were under threat and who were imprisoned. Pen is the gathering place for writers from more than a hundred countries. Writers who come together in their own communities and also internationally to celebrate literature and writing and to defend freedom of expression the freedom necessary for it to exist and for societies to flourish. I hope you will enjoy the experience of unlocking the history of Penn through this exhibition. And thank you very much for being with us today. J'espère que vous apprécierez découvrir l'histoire de Penn à travers cette exposition. Et merci beaucoup d'être avec nous aujourd'hui.